people, my people's peoples, and my plant people. So, we're here uh, for a nice little Ethereum repotting. So, one of the first things I actually want to do is show you an update to my Ethereum uh, IKEA greenhouse case or whatnot. Um, and then I'm gonna come back. I think I have about like three or four different uh, plants that literally I got it from either Tropicals or Echo General and they've been in the moss ever since. They've been doing okay. But um, I'm liking the mix that I have because my other Anthurium seems to like it too. Um, and that uh, that uh, sphagnum moss seems to dry out uh, fairly quicker than the actual mix, the chunky mix. So, um, and then I also wanna look at the roots and just see kind of what's going on there too. So, um, I hope everybody's doing good. Hope y'all doing fine. Hope you watched the last video, especially to the end, if you didn't. But, um, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it and then we'll double back. We'll put some, uh, Anthuriums, we'll check some uh, roots and stuff like that, and then we'll go ahead and I see you on the next one, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, this is the first thing that you see on top of my uh, IKEA or the Anthurium uh, case or whatnot. This here was given to me by a friend. This is the Anthurium Magnificum. Um, and she is absolutely beautiful. Her newest leaf, which got burnt by the light, so I had to um, pretty much change the light. Um, this is her, and her leaf is Magnifico. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, most of the leaves are like really, really big and Gorgeous. The pot and mix that she got it in seems to be uh, very chunky like, and there seems to be a pup coming out of it too, but I'm going to leave the pup there um, because I already have like enough uh, anthuriums everywhere. So, um, but she's actually looking really, really good up here by herself. She is a stunner um, and she's absolutely humongous. So I'm gonna keep her in that and she's doing very, very well. Very thick, um, water her probably at least twice a week, maybe. Um, so she's a big thirsty girl, so I like, I like that about her. So now into the actual case. Uh, I guess I'll go top down. So um, this here is a Crystal Mag Napo Gigi. Um, this here is a newer leaf looking really gorgeous. And then this here is a leaf right here. Look like she got some bugs on her, so I'm gonna definitely have to go in there and clean her up. But those leaves, look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Just the potential of it with no white veining in it. That's gonna be really gorgeous. Definitely something different that I don't really have. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the next one over, these are just, of course, all the ceilings. This right here, what it says, uh, SKG Silver and a Dark uh, Forgetti Eye, which is so funny because it has, it must have been the SKG and then pollinated maybe by Forgetti Eye because it has an actual sinus. So um, this one is looking really good. Um, look like there is a new leaf coming out of there. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, she looks really, really good. I like that. I want to actually um, maybe get a SKG just by itself, but we shall see what that looks like. Next, I have SKG uh, Crystal Silver with a red uh, Crystal Linum, which that is an absolutely gorgeous leaf there. And then there is um, another leaf coming right here. So um, these little ones right here, I definitely have to make sure I keep water um, because they definitely dry out fast. And as you kind of see, there's roots down at the bottom. So I may need to repot that one soon, but it's growing a new leaf, so I'm gonna just keep it like it is. And then this one right here isn't doing too well. 
but this is a crystal line though for Giddy Out White Stripe. Um, I probably need to uh, yeah, do something with this right here, but uh, <laughs> it's gonna be like it is right now. You know, them little plants like you have. This right here, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, it could be so many different plants uh, that I just really have no clue. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Um, it's probably one of those things I probably picked up and really didn't get the uh, tag on it. So if you do know what this is, um, definitely put it in the comment. Obviously you see it like still in the cup and whatnot. So um, sometimes I pick up seedlings and I don't even know what the heck I be getting sometimes. It just be inexpensive. So we just grab them, right? So um, yeah, here looks like this is a, Vato a Vitolium. Oh, not Ethereum, Vitolium, or oh, whatnot. Here we got a VTI, or oh, whatnot. One of the big VTIs, if you kind of remember this, I probably had this maybe about two or three months now. So she's looking pretty uh, gorgeous. Let me see if I can make this wider. Yeah, that's probably a lot better. Um, let me see what I can dig up in here. Uh, let me see. And I sometimes need to get these name plates because my mind is just everywhere today. Uh, today I've been writing a paper, so, or uh, making a PowerPoint pretty much for like capstone. So my mind is just a little bit everywhere. She looks like she kind of stuck up under here too. Okay. What are you gorgeous? This here is the Peltergerum Chocolate Narrow. And she's looking gorgeous right now. Yeah, look like I need to water her. Look a little light, but we shall see. This little uh, stump now is a Magnificum, but we'll get her back on point. I know this right here is the Vitarfolium. Not Vitarfolium. What's this thing called? Um, Villanorium. There we go. Villanorium. Look like there's a new leaf in the back right there. So that could be um, really gorgeous. I like this long leaf with that stripe. Um, really beautiful plant. Look like I need to kind of do some watering in here. And then this is a gorgeous one right here. Look at that, that's amazing. This comes from Tropicals. This uh, Anthurium Silver Special. I think I won this one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, she is looking beautiful and doing very well. I need to repot her, so I'll actually um, go ahead and take her up out of here. These Anthuriums are definitely really close right now, so um, I guess this will keep the humidity there. This right here is a queen. Um, this is one of my first ones that I kind of had. I just got it like in chunky mix. I pretty much water this probably like every other, every two days or something like that. Um, Cause as you kind of see like the uh, moss is pretty dry. So I'll probably go ahead and water that before I do any of the mixes. So I'll go ahead and take this off right now. This is a, a queen as well. Uh, when I got it, um, it was like this right here, and then I think I like let it dry out, and these leaves are like really bad. So um, this grew out of kind of like the bad one. Um, I haven't really gotten rid of this one just because it doesn't it doesn't too much bother me, but I do need to um, do something about it. I guess if it gets like too bad, there's no bugs on it or anything like that. So um, it's just really dried out and whatnot. So um, I water that one. A lot too. Um, let's see. Down on the second shelf, I have my uh, Doriaki. Since I grew it, uh, or since I've had it, it grew this leaf right here, which is absolutely gorgeous. And she is really, really pretty. Let me see the next one that I have over here. They look like this said Lupinum, Anthurium Lupinum. Um, other than, I mean, this little kind of battered leaf 
probably got some bugs on it, so I should probably take that off. But that little leaf over there seems to be doing okay. Um, I'll go ahead and take that one out and kind of check on it too. But I won't be repotting that one, probably just taking that leaf off a little later. Um, and like I said, this one here is another VTR. So it's funny, I bought this VTI not realizing that I had this VTI. So, I mean, of course I just kept both of them because two VTIs in there just look really amazing. You know what I mean? So um, down at the bottom, uh, I think that this is another Vitar Folium, if I'm not mistaken. Could be something else, I'm not sure. I didn't really get the name played on. This is when I like first started getting Ethereum and I just got like seedlings and stuff like that. So this got to be the Vitar Folium or uh, whatever the other long anthurium is. Um, VTI, not VTI, Vitarfolium, and uh, I can't remember the name of it. But here yeah. these little babies right here. Oh, we got a new leaf on there. Oh, she's so beautiful. Okay, so at one time I got a lot of crystallinum, um, crystallinum seeds. So I have uh, crystallinum seed right here crystallinum oh a new leaf is coming out that's gorgeous okay um so i got a lot of crystallinum as you kind of know in my anthurium case in my greenhouse so um yeah this right here I'm trying to move this without moving that oh got another um got another uh what that is uh, uh crystallinum right there i probably need to move this over here so i get some light but this right here is a Luxurians just by itself, Anthurium Luxurians. Um, this right here is that Draco Ponata, something like that, all right? Got a new little leaf coming out. Um, this is actually the leaf that it gave me um, a couple weeks ago or about a month ago. So it's looking really good. I'm not sure why I got that little spot but she's doing okay she's still alive so um i love that that long little kind of like snout it just reminds me of like a variation of uh snoopy or whatnot not snoopy is it snoopy not snoopy um goofy there we go goofy or oh, not long nose and then like the big ears or whatnot but she's doing okay um and i have her pretty much in like sphagnum moss and I speak most, I'm sorry. Um, Lekka. Yeah, I definitely need to water um, these plants over here. But yeah, um, pretty much Lekka. Oh, well, now I think I'm gonna put some more of these other anthuriums in Lekka because I think um, a lot of these anthuriums do very well with Lekka. Um, let me see, who do I have over here? So I have, I believe this to be a Magnificum too. Um, doing very very well in here uh leka and sphagnum moss as well if you can kind of see in this little anthurium jungle there we go um i got the ellsmerl dense um stump she did not do too well so yeah um here i got that anthurium shelby nothing has really changed so far um she's still in her same mix um so yeah uh radican luxurians or no this is just radicans right here it's like a whole let me see if that one that luxurian look like it's kind of dependent on it but yeah it's just a just a case of luxurians or whatnot a uh, case of radicans or whatnot so uh-oh uh-oh we got a little trouble we got a little trouble over here okay and then forgetty with a new leaf looking really really scrumptious this leaf right here is not doing so bad itself neither um but yeah that's pretty much um my anthurium case um i need to get some more of these little stripes or those little things there so i can put uh lights on the side because i think i have um more lights but i need like a double connector um for this one to maybe this one right here and that one right there so yeah just gotta figure that one out but she is green 
with a lot of stripes and a lot of ribbing, um, a lot of corrugation, got a lot of length over here. Let me see, it's about 74 in there. So it says it's wet in here, but yeah, um, definitely worth the while. Definitely looking good right now. Um, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna try to take some of these out of here and uh, repot them. So yeah, just give me just a second. thing I want to do is just get these three right here um, pretty much repotted or whatnot Villanorium, uh, Anthurium Villanorium, uh, the Crystal Silver Special and then of course the Queen um, Work with them. So I'm gonna do my chunky mix or whatnot because it's been working pretty well um, and then of course I will throw some uh, sphagnum moss at the top that seems to work for me very well, especially with a lot of these area roots right here. I don't want them to dry out. So of course, um, if you put sphagnum moss around them, or at least that's what I do for myself, it seems to work out pretty well. Um, these are epiphytic plants. So of course, if you keep the um, area roots wet and moist and stuff like that, plant typically um, comes out pretty well or whatnot. Um, so, uh, first one I got here is the Villanorium, Villanoria, Villanorium. Uh, I've had this plant, or well, I've wanted this plant for quite some time and I'm glad I got it uh, when I got a chance to. I believe I got this from uh, Tropicals, right? Did I get it from Tropicals? I believe I got it from Tropicals. So, yeah, let me move that up right there. And I had it, this is, I believe this is what they gave it to me in this little, little paper cup or whatnot. So I need to, let me see. Let me Got a little bucket here so I can get the sphagnum moss off of it. And I moistened it a little bit so it should be a little bit easier to come off. And it looks like it's just kind of falling off. It's been doing pretty good in the sphagnum moss, but I'm hoping it takes off in this soil. Um, I know uh, Lekka will probably do it uh, just fine, but I don't have a lot of containers for uh, Lekka, so I will do what I can with what I have. I have these uh, little clear pots, so I love clear pots. I'm a clear pot connoisseur. I just love to see the roots or whatnot. So um, when they make little pots like this right here and they have it closed off, game will be shut down, I tell you what. So I know I could probably like put it in a, um, I could probably put it in a closed container but uh, with like Lekka, something like that. But I think I only have about, maybe about one or two of those type of 
uh, thing, so I don't, I can't really do it. I haven't went uh, thrifting in a long time. That's where I usually get it from, like the Goodwills or whatnot. Um, where the glasses be like two, three bucks or something like that for like really good ones. If you find a really good um, Goodwill, man, you'll find it for like, like a dollar, you know what I mean, a dollar fifty. Um, especially if you go on the right day, they be having like different tags and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get off enough of this sphagnum moss, even though there, there's like, you know, a little bit of sphagnum moss in there. Um, just enough so that, uh, just enough so I can put this stuff on there. But this is where we are. So the roots are very, very healthy. This is it up close. And it has a little baby back there. So she's doing really good. I think that this might be a, maybe a four, maybe four inch, maybe. So just like I always do, little, little bottom on there. And then this is bigger than the actual plant, which is, I feel like it'll be good because I won't have to repot it. I won't have to repot it anytime soon. And then they give it enough room so that it can uh, grow. So I'm kind of happy about that right now. I'm actually loving exactly how this looks, really. Oh, I'm trying not to touch that leaf. I know that leaf gonna expand. take a little out so I actually have it uh, buried in there so what I'll do is grab some of my sphagnum moss after I repot them and then put some sphagnum moss on top so where this lip is I'm pretty much put soil up into that lip so um, next one here is the crystal what is the crystal lime silver silver special I've been seeing a lot of uh, anthuriums with some very wacko names, man. They be throwing dark and panther and uh, silver and chocolate and... I'm like, that's a crystallinum. You can't play me. Crystallinum dark leaf, like... I don't know, them throwing out all the, have y'all been seeing that? Like if you go on to, especially if you've been on like a, a tropical sale and stuff like that, which I've been poking my head in and out or whatnot. Um, everything is like very uh, velvety or something like that. Like they really be trying to sell these names. They don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. I don't think that those are like real scientific names. I don't think that there's like a cross to it or something like that. Um, my opinion is just freaking, it's a crystal item. It might be a crystal item with some silver stripes in there, you know what I mean? Like maybe a round version or something like that, but like very, very, very dark like in the world. Um, a lot of roots on this one for sure. A lot, a lot of roots on here. Um, looks like there is a kind of caterpillar. Looks like a leaf gonna come out of that one right there. Just tearing a little of the caterpillar off. But yeah, they're coming up with some very very wacko names trying to get people to buy like oh I got a I got a crystal lino but I'm got a crystal lino with a extra dark extra dark leaf so this is the leaf again I got that little red around the rim of it looks really gorgeous the roots are absolutely amazing as always this comes from tropical so um, you know that's gonna you know that's gonna hit so put a little bit of, put a little bit at the bottom. Should I cut some of these roots? Yeah, let me cut some of these roots. So I cut the roots for two different reasons. Uh, one is to promote more root uh, growth. 
um, and the other is because sometimes it's just too long. So that should be good there, enough to fit in the pot. Twirl it around just a little bit. And this one's gonna sit up pretty high. Maybe I should. Okay, so I got a little bit in there. Do not be afraid to cut the roots if that's what you really feel in your heart. Those roots will grow back 10 times stronger, I believe. I don't know, but I believe they will grow back. Well, I know that they're gonna grow back, but 10 times stronger, I don't know too much about that. Try to get it to fill in the little spaces. Yeah, she's looking beautiful. A little sphagnum moss at the top. Gonna be just fine. All right, we two, we two for two. Now I get this clean up out of here. So we got your special right there. I need to write a, a written tag. That's what I'm gonna do um, after this. I'm gonna get a written tag on there. And then of course this one is your war. Oh. Look at those roots. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so sporadic, or uh, maybe not sporadic. I'm uh, choosy when to um, take off leaves and stuff like that. Uh, for some plants, I feel like taking off the roots. I mean, taking off the taking off the leaf. Um, that's what I meant to say. Taking off the leaf. Um, sometimes. I'll look at certain plants and go, yeah, I need to take off the leaf because it's dying and it's like causing bugs to like come to that plant because they're, you know, them bugs really like weak leaves or whatnot. But I don't really see anything on these leaves right here. So I'm just gonna keep it like it is. Um, look like there is another leaf coming out so uh, maybe in the next two months I'll have another leaf and then I may decide to go ahead and knock that one off but for right now um, I'm just gonna leave it like it is um, also I guess I don't really talk about it too much but I'm really loving the Ethereums um, tell you the truth when I first saw them I was really afraid of the Ethereums because the first Ethereum that I believe I really heard of was like the War Creanum. And people used to say, man, that war is really difficult. Them Ethereums are really difficult. But I never um, knew about like, I mean, Ethereums, you know, they're everywhere, you know, like the grocery stores and stuff like that, like the, the Flamingo ones and stuff like that. Um, I've never had one of those growing up or not. So, I didn't too much know about Ethereum, so I think the first Ethereum that I got was the Radican. It was either a Radican or a Radican uh, Lux. And the Radican is a very, very tough plant. If you want an Ethereum just to kind of understand, I say that that one is definitely like top five Ethereum. If you know of any other Ethereum that you believe to be just as easy as the Radicans, definitely drop it down below. I love to get those tough Ethereums. And that one there, really, really tough. Um, but overall, I am liking Ethereums. I just can't see me paying like $500 for just one. Now for Monsteras and um, Monsteras and Philodendrons, I feel like I could do that. But for 
uh, and Ethereum's. I'm probably maybe about 250 the most. Um, what is the most you've ever paid on an Ethereum? On one Ethereum, I think. I don't think I got. I don't think I have. A very expensive Ethereum. I think the most expensive Ethereum I have is probably the War Creator, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I have like, cause like the Blackie out, or no, the Carla Black, like all those are uh, ceilings. I don't think I've paid for. Um, I'm gonna cut some of these roots. I don't think I've paid for yet um, a very expensive one, like a collector's choice type thing. What is the most you've paid for an Ethereum? I would really love to know. And I know you gotta be like, uh, probably a very, very big uh, Ethereum lover which one day I may get to that point of paying, you know, over maybe 250 for one specific Ethereum. Um, I know that Lex has some Ethereum. I think she got like the Dodge Block or something like that. That is a really nice one, but I'm like not really in a rush to get it. But I do think it's a very, very pretty um, Ethereum. I love Stripey. I love uh, the silver veining, but I'm just not yet there with, um, I don't think I'm there yet with, um, with paying that much just yet. Maybe one day, maybe one day for sure. But right now, it's a no for me though. But I would really love to know uh, how much you guys pay for your Ethereum. I know probably one of the most expensive plants that I pay for it is a Monster, which is probably like 250 something. Yeah, 250 I believe. I know uh, for graduation, I am gonna buy myself a Spiritus, which at this point is like 100 bucks, so it's really good. Um, and I also am going to be looking into getting um, the variegated billetier. So I know that there are people here in Atlanta that will sell me like a leaf cutting, but let me tell you how crazy it is. The leaf cuttings alone, like one leaf cutting is about 750. This lady quoted me on uh, getting one of those um, variegated billetiers. And I'm like, geez, Louise, that is, that is expensive. Actually, I'm gonna just use this Magnum off here. Like, would you pay 750 for a rooted, um, would you pay 750 for a rooted Billy Etier Vergat? Would you do that? Cause I'm, I'm about right there that I really want to do it. So, um, and then it'd be for my graduation. You know what I mean? Like that's an accomplishment getting my master's degree. So it wouldn't be just for nothing. And I don't think that that one is going to stick. And I don't think I have another something close to me let me see if i grab something real quick. yeah so it'll be for my graduation or whatnot um, i definitely think i'm worth it and uh these three years that it took me to get this thing going master's degree and intern and all that i feel like uh it'll definitely be worth it in the end i don't think that uh i would look back and go um Oh no, I folded it a little bit. I don't think I would look back and think, um, while I can't believe I paid that much, I think I would look like, uh, 
you really earned it. You know what I mean? So that may happen in the near future for myself. I mean, if anybody else want to buy it for me, hey, who am I to say no? No, I wouldn't let nobody buy it for me. But um, I think it'd be a nice gesture, if I'm honest. But um, I think I want to do that for myself. So, uh, yeah. If you have a variegated billiette, let me know if that is worth it. Let me know uh, what are the conditions um, that they grow in. I feel like they grow just like a regular billy, but I don't know exactly because I don't have it, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna get that billy, and I know I'm this by Ethereum, but. It's just something about that Billy I just absolutely love. Mm -hmm. That is a sexy plant there. Absolutely sexy. All right, we two. We two for two right there. And like I said, I put the sphagnum moss around there um, because it helps and promote the uh, the area roots to grow. So I always encourage people, no matter if it's in LECA, no matter if you got it in soil, no matter if you got it in chunky mix, put sphagnum moss around those roots to help promote. So that is going to be it. I'm gonna get some name place on them and that's gonna be what she wrote. So. Um, I appreciate y'all for coming through, um, chilling with your boy once again. Um, make sure you check out my last video for sure. Like, subscribe, uh, comment, share if that's your preference. Um, the likes definitely help this channel grow and let other people see. The sharing just says that you love me. Um, the comments just say you part of this community. You know what I mean? No pressure on any of that stuff. Um, but until next time, I appreciate you hanging out with me for real, for real. Um, yeah, until next time, love, peace, and plants. <laughs>